Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, yes, I have already made quite a few videos on this game. And it's been a while since I uploaded a video overall on this game. And actually, it's been so long that, well, for one, I didn't really know what I was actually doing at now. Oh, cool. Oh, so they've changed it up a bit. Didn't really look like this earlier. Okay, so basically, yeah. I uh, didn't really want to keep going on that simply because of the uh, two things that actually did happen. And that was one, I didn't play for a really long time. And two, it was really buggy. Seriously, that entire world was just so freaking buggy. Like, seriously, it's... Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. So basically, what I want to do here is... Wow. Oh, there, there it is. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation okay. of the Aura's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. And they had actually updated a whole lot of stuff apparently, but there is something above the surface there. Anyways, but well, whatever. Water contamination is high. And honestly, I don't know if it looked exactly like that before but I think the model looks better now I'm not really sure oh, there's actually a moon and there are flying things but that must mean that there is land nearby because otherwise they wouldn't fly all the way out here well regardless so for now I think we want to go back down in here and well let's go down into the ocean and I don't know, this is not the same place where we started last time, but I think they have actually changed a bit of the map. Anyway, so. Oh. A little bit of a lag spike there. So let's see what we've got here. Oh. Oh, it's one of those. So, so far, things don't really appear to be all that different. But. Uh, oh, copper. But hopefully, oh, soon to surface. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they just added so much. I just felt like, you know, it really didn't work out either. It was just so buggy. I mean, for one thing, I had discovered like solar panels, but I couldn't build solar panels for some unknown reason. So, let's just find out what this is. Okay, it's a solar panel fragment. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the stuff needed to actually build that. And I should probably have... Um, checked first. Is that actually a new cave? No, it's probably not. But let's, let's swim down there anyway. Okay, we don't want to swim in there because there are those things that really loud and uh, they are really painful so let's just get some of these shrooms and uh, go out and for now let's go back and I'm gonna try to do this a lot quicker so to speak like I'm gonna cut away a lot of dead time that I didn't do in my previous video well previous video series rather and actually I don't remember there being like this deep this close can hear something down there but whatever we'll see what it is later on for now let's check on the fabricator what do we need for some tools the scanner a battery and titanium okay well titanium shouldn't be a problem in fact we should have plenty there we go now for the battery that's a bit more tricky I suppose but shouldn't be too hard anyways Actually, we already got all what we needed. 
<laughs> I accidentally got what I wanted, so there we go. And scanner, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, so let's make some more titanium. Because I'm pretty sure we're gonna need that for some of the tools. So the well of the flashlight survival survival knife should be pretty good. But the habitat builder, that's that's where the money is. Well not no no there's no money, but it's basically what we want the most. Oh. Well this should be cool. I don't know if it's the same as it was last time. Last time it was a big shockwave and explosions. Oh. Whoa. Well, I mean, if there were any fish in the area, I mean, I mean, that's... They're pretty much gone by now. Well, that was pretty cool. Honestly, I don't know what that sound is. It does sound like... I think it might be those gassy things that make that sound. But honestly, I am not sure. Because it sounds bigger. It sounds like the uh, Brachiosaurus is from Jurassic Park. It's a bit laggy. Well, it's to be expected, though. I haven't actually been here yet. So let's uh, get out of here for now. Emergency. Seeing as I'm low on oxygen. oxygen and I need to go back because I've got the stuff. I think there we go, actually. Yeah, it's the solar panel fragment. Great. That's exactly what we needed. So now we only need one more solar pa pa panel fragment. Mm. For God's sake, I was not a threat. And there we go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to build a uh, battery. Or two, actually. We're going to build two batteries. Always good to have a spare battery. We're actually going to build three batteries because three batteries are better than two. And let's see here, what else do we need? Computer ship. Oh, right, I had actually completely forgotten about that. So, computer ship, uh, silver ore, and table coral sample. Actually, to get table coral sample, ha, <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Well, of course, you need a knife. And for that, we're gonna need silicone rubber. <sighs> for silicone rubber, if I'm not mistaken, we need something that we can only get here from these things. I think. Not sure, but I think that is the case. So let's just head on over here and see. Hopefully we don't encounter anything dangerous. We can just get... Well, that was creepy. So creep vine clusters. Yeah, silicon rubber. We're gonna make uh, as much as we can, honestly. Well, we can't anymore. Didn't I pick up like five of those? No, apparently not. I always push the wrong bloody button. Okay, so let's make some titanium. And let's uh, open this storage containment unit and uh, put in some quartz and some titanium and a salt. And that should be it for now. I'll leave that as it is. I always push the wrong freaking button. And now survival knife. Yay. Finally, we can, uh, we can get what we need to get what we actually need. Yay. Well, the silver ore we could have gotten from the beginning. Oh, I f keep forgetting reading those messages. So let's use the knife. 
yeah. Let's use some purple coral sample. So there we go, that's pretty much all the coral we needed. Okay, so the uh, s I mean, why we're looking for silver is pretty simple actually, and I think that it's pretty stupid too. Because to build the thing we need to build bases with, we need silver. And wow, silver is uncommonly freaking rare. I don't know why it's so rare. I mean, you need it so much, so I don't know why it's this freaking rare at this stage in the game. I mean, oh no, we're not going in there. I mean, this is the first part of the game. The part of the game where people are going to be like, oh, sea glide fragments. What? I mean, this is where people are going to be like, hmm, I don't like this game. It's boring. And, I mean, they're going to be like that if you put them to the task of finding silver in a place where there is absolutely no silver. You know, it's going to turn them away from the game. So I just don't really think it makes a whole lot of sense to make silver this rare at this point. So yeah. With that being said, I was hoping to get a lot further in the first episode, like, you know, Build something, perhaps. Oh, we'll see here. Silver. Ooh. And a gold. And a gold. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was unexpected. That was really unexpected, honestly. Emergency. So, whatever. We actually found silver. Maybe. So, we're gonna build uh, whatever it was that we wanted it for. Computer chip. That's right. And now that the computer chip is done, we can build a habitat builder. And with that, we can actually build exterior models, solar panels. We can build solar panels. Yes. Which is just what we freaking wanted. Uh, now. I can't really... I don't... Why? Can we not build uh, rooms? We can build corridors. T corridor, X corridor, reinforcement window hatch. But we can't build rooms? Is this really how it's supposed to be? Or is this just a... Um, temporary glitch? Honestly, I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's see if we can actually build one of these. Yeah, sure. Let's start that off. We'll start off the base with this. And... Like that. And then we'll just build a foundation. Or oh, wait a second, maybe, maybe we can't. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen. Remain. Actually, we'll just build that there. Then we'll swim up because I'm about to faint. Ooh. Then we'll see. We can actually build the solar model Let module. So let's take a look at what happens when we build it. Okay. So now all we need is some more. Oh wait a second. We do have quartz, right? Okay, so that's good, I guess. Uh, what can we build? We need a wiring kit, computer chips, and all that stuff. Emergency. Ten seconds but, I mean, remaining. I guess we're not supposed to be able to build that without uh, inventing it first, <laughs> finding blueprints for it. 
That's just my guess. I mean, it might might have bugged out. I don't know. But whatever. I think we can build a cool base even without it. So. Um, so yeah, it's not like it actually matters all that much. Sure, I mean, it does matter a bit, but I don't think it matters enough. What was it? Uh, yeah. And there we go, so we can actually enter here now. So we have a little bit of a base uh, so far. We can build stuff on these walls. Can we actually build these here though? Yeah, we can. Cool. Cool, that's cool. So can we build fabricators? Yeah, we can. And yeah, I think actually, even without the rooms, I think we can build a pretty cool base. Actually, I think almost we can build a cooler base. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. And yeah, this is basically the beginnings of the base. So we'll see what happens, uh, what I can find, what we can do. And we'll go forward from here. See what happens. Maybe use a vertical connector somehow. I don't know. Maybe. Well, we'll see. How do you actually build a vertical connector? Is it... Yeah, actually, it's like that. Cool. So if we just walk in here, we can have uh, oxygen now. So that's awesome. But yeah, we'll find out uh, sooner or later, I guess, how they have planned that whole thing with the houses. I, I, I don't know if that's something that they have actually changed or if it's just bugged out. Uh, this, however, we probably don't need that. Let's deconstruct that corridor and just place one like this. Alright, need glass. But yeah, for now, this will do fine. Just remove this so you don't bug it out like last time. And yeah, we have a tiny little thing here at the bottom of the sea. So yeah. I'll see you next episode. I might build a little bit uh, in between since this uh, video series so far is uh, catching up. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably find some more materials, build build out the base a bit, uh, get some more stuff down here, and yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. So yeah, bye!